what is up guys i feel super compelled to make this video right now i had put a video out five months back about color transformation and importing your iphone hdr videos into davinci resolve and maintaining the same color um, that you perceive them as on your iphone for some reason when you drag and drop your uh, video into davinci it would lose its color preferences so transforming that color into davinci resolve seems to be a problem that a lot of people were having I'm making this video today because of the same reason that so many people reached out thanking me for coming up with a solution however since then i've made a way better respected way in the video creation world um, on how to do this and it's actually the proper way which it's an extra step but it is the right way knowing this way will actually lead you into better understanding of davinci resolve so let's go ahead and jump into this and just real quick a side note if anybody's struggling with this um here's a little hot tip on how to structure your reels if you're struggling on formatting your reels you're gonna um, actually go into file um, new timeline and then you're going to uncheck use project settings and you're going to go to format and then in format you're going to change 1080 to 1920 and you're going to replace this with 1080 and boom you have your vertical real format so now when you drag your video in, you have a vertical video. So, you know, reels are very popular right now. So you should definitely know that technique, especially if you're working with DaVinci. So let's just jump into this and, and notice right away the frustration that we were all struggling with five months back. Look how crispy green that grass is compared to the grass here. Look how much darker the blacks are in this umbrella. You can see the difference there, right? So how you're going to get through this hurdle is you're going to click, highlight your your uh, track, as we like to call it in the music production world, but your clip, um, and you're going to hit color down here. And now you're going to drag a color space transform, create a node, and up here, you're going to, in input color space, you're going to go to Rec 2020. So we're going to define Rec 2020. Where are you? There you are. Boom. And then from here, you're going to hit Rec 2100 HLG. So 21 Rec 21. Where are you? 2100 HLG. Boom. And then from here, you're going to hit Rec 709. Boom. And then last but not least, you're going to go ahead and do Rec 2100 LG one more time. Um, where are you? There you are. Boom. And right there, you'll just you'll you'll see it change as you're adding in these um, parameters. So look at here. Let's see how close we were able to get it. OK, pretty pretty on point okay so that's the fix um, it's a lot of adjusting and whatnot the good thing is is if you make another track or another clip and you want to apply and you don't want to have to go through and individually click you can you know simply highlight this node and you can um, go up here and you can go to edit and copy and then you can create another node and you can paste the node settings on the new one so if you have multiple clips and it's you know it's because it's it's very it's very intel to sit there and do this for every clip that you're you know importing from your iPhone so that is the true tried and true real way to do color transformation um, this is the best way to get uh, iPhone videos that are being shot in HDR imported into DaVinci to bring them back to life. Um, 
So thank you guys so much for all the comments. It actually really makes my day every time I see one of these comments and get a subscriber, you know, and I've been able to help you guys. So hopefully this is the next tool in your toolkit that, you know, pushes you guys that much further. And I'm always here if you have any questions. My email is in the info section um, on my channel. So happy new year. Enjoy your day and stay out of trouble.